Good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Logan's Devotions. Great to be together. Wonderful to open up God's Word for another day and see what he has to say. We're popping into 1 Corinthians again, but before I read our text, as always, let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for your word, which is both true and rich. It is a joy to our hearts, and we love to read it and understand it and grow in it. And so we do pray that as we turn to it again for a quick little time this afternoon, that you would encourage our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, and we're looking at just verse 14 this afternoon. The natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are folly to him, and he is not able to understand them, because they are spiritually discerned. Have you ever wondered why it is that you share something that seems so obvious to you, and yet no one else gets it? Now, this happens in lots of different things. You know, you share the best idea around the office table at work, the best strategy plan maybe, and everyone else just looks at you like you're a bit nuts, and you think, man, I was sure that was going to go really well. How much more does this happen with people we know and love, people we work with, or maybe just people we meet and sit on a bus with? We, We talk to them of God. We talk to them of Christ, the Word. We talk to them about the marvellous things that we have seen and the people turn their noses up at it or they get upset at us or they look at us like we're insane. Have you ever experienced this? When you you share of the glory of Christ, the hope of the gospel and someone just looks at you like you're a bit insane and they say to you, I don't get it. Well, let me just briefly as an aside reassure you about something. You're not alone. In fact, that's exactly what Jesus experienced. Remember Nicodemus? After Jesus explains to Nicodemus what is necessary, what does he say? How can that be? He just can't get it. He can't see it. And look, there's a reason for that. Why is it? Why is it that it seems like it doesn't matter how hard we explain, how convincing we are in our argumentation, people still don't believe. Well, Paul tells us here in verse 14, firstly, because the natural person, the natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God. There is a natural opposition. Now, the word for natural person could be translated as foolish person. In the older, older, older version, some of them had an animal person. But a a person who by nature is ignorant of God. So a sinful, wicked, fallen human being. They are, they cannot accept the things of the Spirit of God. By nature, they stand in opposition to the truths of God. It's not that they intentionally, intentionally, willfully are antagonistic against the things of God, they just don't want to accept it. The natural person does not accept the things of God, they don't want to accept the things of God, and they will not accept the things of God. Why? Because the things of God are folly to them. You see, the the problem is, You and I, having had our hearts enlightened and our eyes opened, we see the things of God and we go, they're beautiful. We look at them and go, they're amazing. And so we go to our work colleagues and we go, hey, let me show you something amazing. Let me show you someone that's amazing. His name's Jesus. And he died so that you can live forever. And they look at us and they say to us, I don't see it. I don't believe it, and I can't understand it. And it's because the things of God are folly to them. Not because God's things are foolish. Not because God's things are ugly or unappreciative or not worth considering. But because for the spiritually blind fool, the things of God are folly. You see, there is something wrong with their mind and their heart 
which makes it impossible for them to look at the things of God and appreciate them and love them and bow before them. Why? Because, end of verse 14, he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. You see, he does not have a spiritual mind. The natural person, the fool, the unsaved, the unregenerate, has a human, physical, natural mind. He doesn't have a spiritual mind. The things of God are spiritual. The things of this earth are physical. And the things of God can only be discerned, understood, judged spiritually. It's the only way they can be understood. And so when those things, the word of God, the preaching of God's word, the sharing of the gospel, testimonies of the glory of Christ, all of these sorts of things come to the physical man. They look at them and they say, it just looks like nonsense to me. Because they don't have a spiritual heart and mind in order to understand them. It's literally impossible for them in their state to understand. You see, for the natural person to believe in God, that would be like you deciding to fly. Now, you may try to fly. You may jump off an aeroplane. But you can't fly. It doesn't matter how much you want to fly. It doesn't matter how many times someone tells you that you can fly. You can't, and you will fall to your death. And the same is true for the people of this world. They cannot believe, full stop. They cannot discern the things of God because they're dead and they're spiritually blind. And the only hope is that God gives them eyes to see. I know I say that all the time, but it's a lesson Paul really wants us to understand. Why? Because we are slow and we forget and we need to be reminded. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you that, that there are spiritual truths in this world and that you have given us eyes to see. And we do pray that you would open up many more people, open up many more spiritual hearts and minds to believe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me for another day. I'll see you back here tomorrow.